How do you calibrate a blood pressure machine? If you're wondering how to ensure your blood pressure machine is giving you accurate readings, you're in the right place. Calibrating your blood pressure machine is a crucial step to get reliable results, and it's not as complicated as you might think. First, let's talk about why calibration is important. Blood pressure readings are vital for diagnosing and managing health conditions like hypertension. Even slight variations can lead to misdiagnosis or mismanagement, so accuracy is key. To calibrate a digital sphygmomanometer, you'll need a few pieces of equipment. An analog arm, a pressure gauge, a trachea interface, a USB cable, and the blood pressure monitor itself. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Start by connecting your devices. Open the blood pressure monitor and use the USB cable to connect it to your PC. Then, open the PC testing system and click the Connect Devices button. Make sure the external trachea interface is connected to the pressure gauge. Next, put the analog arm into the cuff and click Shrink Cuff. Then, click Approval 100 mmG to start the calibration process. Once the calibration is done, Enter the actual pressure value from the blood pressure monitor and click the calibration button. Compare the values from the main pressure, side pressure, and pressure gauge to ensure the relative difference is less than or equal to 3 mmg. Repeat this process for the middle and high range calibrations. For the middle range, click approval 150 mmg and follow the same steps. For the high range, click approval 200 mmg and do the same. Each time, ensure the relative difference is less than or equal to 3 mmg. After completing all the calibrations, disconnect the devices by clicking the disconnect button. For self-measured blood pressure devices, the process is a bit different. You'll need to take multiple readings using both the patient's device and the office's method. Take five blood pressure measurements using both devices without any rest period between them. Calculate the average of the patient's readings and compare them to the office readings. If the difference is less than 5 mHg, the device is good to use. If it's between 6 and 10 mHg, you may need to proceed with additional steps. If it's greater than 10 mHg, replace the device. When using a traditional cuff blood pressure meter for calibration, make sure you're sitting down and relaxed. Put the cuff on your left arm or wrist and ensure it's at heart level. Start the blood pressure measurement from the cuff BP meter and follow the on-screen instructions on your performance monitor. You'll need to enter the systolic blood pressure number twice to complete the calibration successfully. It's also important to avoid common calibration errors. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions, calibrate in a controlled environment, and use the correct equipment. Taking your time during calibration is key to avoiding errors. Remember, calibration should be done regularly, ideally at least once a year, to maintain the accuracy and reliability of your blood pressure machine. By following these steps, you can ensure you're getting accurate readings every time.